Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about the Shape 3D node. Let's get to it. Drag the Fusion Composition to the timeline. Let's go to the Fusion page. Let's make some space. Let's bring in the Shape 3D node. And um, let's bring in a Renderer node. That's a Renderer 3D node. Connect Shape 3D to the Renderer node and connect the Renderer node to Media Out. See that there? Let's make that a single viewer for now. Let's click on Shape 3D. You see by default it's the plane. The input for Shape 3D, the orange input can take a 3D input. It could be a 3D object or a 3D scene. Let's type text 3D there. and connect text 3D to the origin input. And we see they are both on the same plane. We can bring it back 3D and connect it to shape 3D, which implies that we can have a whole bunch of 3D objects connected to max 3D and connect the max 3D to shape 3D. Let's reconnect the text 3D, yes. And let's make it a dual view. I drag shape 3D to the left viewer. Now let's rotate to the left by holding down Alt and the middle mouse button and drag it to the left. Let's change the color of the text to purple. Let's extrude it a little bit. Right, that's it. Let's click on that button to create some artificial view for 3D so we get to see the 3D objects. A 3D like view, yeah. Let's click on Shape 3D. The grid input can take a 2D image or a 3D material. Let's bring in a fast enough node. Let's drag that to the left viewer. Let's make some adjustments. Go to color, increase alpha of color one, change the color to red. Click OK. Color two, change the color to orange. Click OK. Let's go to the noise tab. Let's increase the contrast a little bit. And let's connect fast to the green input of shape 3D. And then we have the image plane adopt a look of the shape 3D. Let's drag shape 3D to the left view. I see the bit of the text is showing on that plane. Let's click on the text. Let's go to layout. Let's increase center Z to 0 0.0001. And then we see the back is fine now. Now let's see the settings here are like the settings I talked about in the image plane last week. Let's go to cube. Now for cube, let's disconnect text 3D. If we go here, holding down the alt button on the keyboard, alt or option and holding down the middle mouse button, let's, if you drag it left and right, you see it rotate there. Now for ship 3D, we can increase the size of the cube. We can increase the subdivisions. Right, and that's that for uh, for the cube. Let's go to the next thing, the sphere. So we see it's this ball, this perfect ball, right? And um, let's try something. Go to media pool. Let's bring in a map. I think I have a map in the media pool here. Search for map. Yeah. Let's drag that down to the node grid. Let's let's drag that to the left view. I'll see that that's the map. Then let's connect it to the grid input of the shape 3D. And um, see, let's drag shape 3D. Now let's drag shape 3D to the left viewer. And then we see that. So it created like a globe, right? Fantastic stuff, easy. Let's close the media pool. And let's go to Y rotation and rotate that. And we see we have the making self a globe. Effortlessly. Right? Let's disconnect media in one. Just wanted to show you that. Let's reconnect our fast toys, our colorful fast toys. And uh, let's go to controls. Um, let's go to cylinder. Now for cylinder, zoom out a bit. It's just a cylinder. The top is typically not covered. Let's go to shape 3D. Can increase the radius of it. Can increase the height. And then we can increase the base of the visuals, which is the circumference up top there. Or we can increase the height, which is the lengthwise length there. <laughs> and then we can reduce or increase the angle. 
you can close the bottom and then you can close the top that's how that works um that's basically that we can use this for the same motion graphics for data let's see if you change the rotate the ship 3d in that direction yeah that's how that works all these other settings here are common to all the shape 3d options and um i explained that in image plane 3d tutorial which you can check out there yeah same thing with all the other tabs let's go, go to cone now for cone you see that it's a cone right you can increase the top radius so it's not just a sharp end right and um then we can increase the height or reduce it then we can increase uh we can close the top and the bottom it disconnects fast noise which we just have simple shape there let's reconnect fast noise yeah let's go to ship 3d and then we can increase we can go there to torus on torus we can see it's like a donut we can increase the radius there we can increase the thickness of the torus and then can increase base subdivisions we can increase height so to be sure to make it smoother right and then we can increase the angle the thing about torus is we can't close off the two ends when we do this angle thing then for latitude we can reduce see how that works there yeah so we can do a little something here let's reduce that a whole lot and if you drag this left and right if you look at the render view you see what is happening there it's crazy the things we can do in fusion it's all down to imagination right your creativity yeah so that's basically that enough toying around let's move on to the next one ico i have no idea how this <laughs> this shape works but there it is if we increase the subdivisions to 20 it becomes like a sphere and um that's basically that for ico let's just do a bit of an example right and let's reconnect media in one to ship 3d yeah we have that let's change the ship back to sphere so we can do our our loop right back so we go to transform and then we can double click on y to reset it keyframe and we go to frame 20 and increase that to 30 click on ship 3d go to the slide editor click on y rotation click on zoom to fit click on select all keyframes then click on set relative this one just makes it that to keep moving in that direction increasing on and on so it keeps rotated on like that and then tada we have created a rotating globe a transparent rotating globe which is beautiful and um, I hope you enjoyed this one. Be let's two things. Have a nice one. Cheers.